evening, guys. It is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm on my front porch. Uh, I've done a one video, I think, on the front porch. I'm about to do one right now. Uh, this is the location. You can see the camera thing there where Tammy does her bird videos. Uh, here, I'll show you. That's our little bird sanctuary right there in the front yard. And it stays pretty quiet here, so a lot of times she can hear, you know, hear the birds and stuff. So anyway, she gets some pretty close-up shots there. Really nice. We have one of those cameras that has the real long lens, you know, like we're a paparazzi or something like that. So uh, I'm going to sit here and watch these birds. And there's about six cardinals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cardinals right now on that. And I've already spotted four hummingbirds while I'm sitting out here just enjoying it but uh i have to say i need to talk to you guys there are some some issues some issues that i have right now um one is is i'll, I'll tell you a couple of them one and you're going to think this is crazy but if you know me you know i love fried chicken i absolutely love it and um down here when we moved to saint mary's there's a kentucky fried chicken thank god and uh, and I love uh, my whole life. You can ask anybody. I have loved Kentucky Fried Chicken the whole time. I've always eaten it. Everybody that knows me knows I love chicken. Um, so anyway, the, the Kentucky Fried Chicken down here, hardly anybody went to it when I moved down here. And I was really concerned that it was going to close down. And they were going to shut it down. And so next thing I know, they're tearing the building down. And I told the guy I fish with, Paul, I said, I said they're tearing the, the Kentucky Fried Chicken down. And he just looked at me like I was insane. Like, what's a what, you know? I'm like, they if, they could, if they tear down the Kentucky Fried Chicken, I'm not going to, I'm going to have to go to you, Lee, to get, to get Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm going to drive all the way down the road. And he just was like, man, you have lost your mind. Uh, but anyway, um, when I started tearing it down, next thing I know, they started building a new one. And I was so excited and so happy. And sure enough, they built this brand new Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's beautiful. Um, and, and I was like, well, good. Now I can go get me some Kentucky Fried Chicken. And so I went down there, and and, and it's in Kingsland, which is next to St. Mary's. Um, so anyway, I go down there, and there was a line out, the, out into the road, a line down the road of people getting Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I'm like, y'all are the same people that about shut this place down because nobody would go and now i can't even get the guy that has always been faithful to kentucky fried chicken i couldn't even get in the parking lot uh it's been built about three or four weeks and i think i've gone once and i went like at three o'clock in the afternoon and had to wait in line it's like it's some kind of brand new the cardinals are having a fight um it's like it's some kind of brand new chicken restaurant that nobody's ever had before and they're all going down there and i was just like you got to be kidding me there's just you know and then we went up to cedar town we've been at cedar town for like a week and um while we were there we went they had a new popeyes and i like Popeye, like i said any fried chicken and so we go to the popeyes in, in cedar town and there was nobody there at all nobody there were two people that went through line while we were there and nobody inside it was like totally dead and i was like this is going to go out of business there's got to be some kind of happy medium you got to have you know some people in the popeyes and less people you know at, at this one down here because uh, you know anyway that's one issue it's a kentucky fried chicken thing going on here i, I don't like it i don't like it at all it's just really aggravating me so I need my access to that. Okay, so that's one issue. Another issue is I don't know what you guys have been going through since probably 2020, but everything that we buy is breaking. Everything. My truck, my new 2020 Ford F-150, the, the lock's not working on the door. My daughter's car, which is not new, but anyway, it's broken down twice. Um, my uh, trailer motor on my boat has broken down twice since I bought it in 2018. Uh, since we moved here, our um, stove is broken twice. A brand new stove. We bought all brand new appliances. Brand new stove is broken twice. Refrigerator is broken twice. Uh, the washing machine broke twice. 
and finally we, we couldn't use the washing machine. We finally had to just eat the loss and because we were waiting for the repairman, waiting for the repairman, waiting for the repair. Finally, we just had to buy a new washing machine and just eat it. Um, our, um, what else is tore up? Oh, we've had a couch that was delivered. It was just totally damaged uh, and we had to send it back. And then when we, when Amy got her apartment, we got a couch that was so bad you couldn't even sit in it. It was just totally broken. Uh, and then we bought that island, uh, when we, we got that, um, we have a apartment up in Cedar Town in the office where it's here, it's Tammy, let me slow down, slow down, Chris, you're too, you're getting too excited. You know how I am when I get excited, I, I just go faster and faster. But anyway, um, we have an office up there where we mail all of the Calder Valley cookbooks out of for Tammy, and it's her dad's old house in Cedar Town. And her sister lives there. And in the back of the house, there's like a mother-in-law suite. And so we, we're renting it out, um, you know, to have a studio up there to cook out of and stuff like that for uh, when we go up there to visit. You know, so we visit. My mom and dad live about an hour and a half from there. So anyway, uh, we bought a um, kind of a kitchen island thing that's on wheels. And uh, the wheels were broke on it. We had to take it back to Home Depot. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, why everything is tearing up, and I guess it's because we bought so much new stuff, you know, because we moved houses, and we didn't want to carry all the furniture and stuff, because we moved in the middle of COVID, so, um, anyway, I am noticing anything built in the last couple of, apparently two to three years, doesn't work, <laughs> I don't know what, you, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what you, you people out there are doing I just don't know what y'all are doing I don't, I don't understand it but anyway everything I'm buying I'm having to send back trade out and then sometimes oh Tammy's phone she just got a brand new phone because she broke her phone that was her fault uh, but she broke her phone and she had to get a new one and it didn't work the sound didn't work on it and it was damaged so it's like this has been one thing after the other um, I don't know if it's workman, workmanship, if it's the people are too um, short-handed to do a good job or they're not checking stuff or whether it's because it's all high-tech devices or what's going on, but stuff is just not lasting. I think a lot of it has to do because it's high-tech. Um, you know, the cars and the TVs and this, you know, stoves and ovens and refrigerators and stuff are also high tech now this is just a lot of things that can tear up on them so um, anyway that's my second issue is having to replace all of this stuff I got to take my truck in this week I just got my boat finished recently fixed or, or my trailer motor on my boat my daughter's car just got fixed allegedly I'm kind of concerned you know I don't like it because she lives way off and I'm having to worry about whether or not she's gonna break down somewhere in Savannah so anyway that's my two issues you guys have any issues you can put them in the comments below and we'll discuss your issues um, I know there's nothing you can do for me to help me I know these are not on the grand scheme of things really probably very important issues uh, you know as far as the whole world goes there's a lot worse things I should be happy that I could have to buy these things um, but I would like when I buy something for it to work I don't know I'm just crazy I'm crazy like that so uh, so it bothers me and with the the amount of you know the number of things it's starting to get to me it's starting to get to me anyway thanks for watching on the front porch tonight and uh, hope you have a good weekend bye